hey doll so welcome to this vlog this is me in the future after i have went to go and get my nails done and i have already waxed but in this vlog today i'm going to be showing you dolls how i wax at home i did get a really awesome wax kit which you will see in the next clip of me showing you um the packaging and everything like that and how i set everything up and how i actually wax we're going to be waxing and then i'm also going to be going to get my nails done so this is kind of like a maintenance vlog if you will it's a wax and nails done that's pretty much the extent of my maintenance other than like going to get a brazilian i do my own hair um i mean i guess i could include myself doing my hair but that's on my other channel but yeah that's pretty much it i don't go get like lip fillers or i don't go and get my brows done or lashes done or any of that stuff i do that at home so let me know maybe i can include that and do it myself and do like a full diy maintenance y'all let me know what y'all think but yeah stay tuned for the rest of the video okay doll so here is the box so you get a complete waxing kit this is by tress wellness you can purchase this on amazon i will have the link down below for you to check it out so inside of the box you get a lot of goodies you get everything that you need so we have all of these different kinds of wax so there's tea tree peppermint lavender and then you also have lemon as well and eucalyptus so you have all of these different ones to choose from you get two different size sticks you get your after wax spray and also your pre-wax spray as well um and then inside of the box they also had these little papers and pamphlets that came with it there's also a book to tell you how to wax and all of that if you need help waxing but y'all know i've been already doing my own waxes and then you get these little lip covers to cover your wax machines to keep from getting any wax on it so this is the lid and then you also get some gloves in the box as well which is good especially if you're going to do it on other people and then you also get the sprayers that go with the little after and pre-wax spray and this is the actual pot that you will put your wax beads in for them to melt and then this is the little piece so now i'm going to add the little lip around it to cover to make sure that i don't get any wax on the machine this machine is so cute it's black it has the little flower and it is also a digital dial which is so cool because the other one that i have that's kind of similar to this is just not it's not digital or anything it's just basic and regular and it's white so yeah i'm gonna use the lemon ones i wanted to start off with the lighter color so i'm just pouring those in and then i'm gonna turn my wax machine all the way up so that they can melt pretty fast and then i believe in between this time i went and took a shower and stuff and by the time i came back it was completely melted i also like to put the lid on because i feel like that helps it to heat up faster so now you can see that the wax is completely melted but after i melt it i do lower the temperature so it's not too hot so i'm going to start off with the pre-wax spray and i just sprayed it on a little cotton round and I'm just going to wipe that underneath my arm to remove anything that could be underneath my arm. Although I had just took a shower so I didn't put deodorant to make sure that the area was clean. But basically after I clean it I'm going to start applying my wax. That little clip was quick but you will see me do it more and more throughout the video. Look at all of this hair y'all. That is a lot of hair. And it was time for me to wax and I had just got my machine in so it was perfect timing for me to go ahead and demo it for y'all in this video so after i applied the wax i kind of fan it a bit so it can dry faster and then i just rip it off real easy peasy and look at all of that y'all that is a lot of hair a mess okay but it didn't look like that much in the beginning but you know it pulls from the root so it's gonna look like more hair than what's on the surface after i go downwards i like to do an upward motion and whichever way you apply the wax you want to rip off in the opposite direction um so yeah, really easy. You don't have to do it multiple times or whatever. I just like to go over what er whatever area twice. And that tends to get all of the hairs because under your arms, the hairs kind of grow all kinds of ways. So I feel like this method works best for me. So now I'm at the top and this is my last little piece to pull off. So then I'm going to apply the 
after wax spray as well and this one is a little oily and it also felt really nice on my skin after waxing it's going to be red but it is going to go away after a little bit and i just kind of pat the oil in and this is the before and the after amazing good morning dolls the sun is out shining bright so we are going to get our nails done today and y'all probably never ever uh oh y'all probably never ever saw me without nails i wish i could fit my uh, camera in this little part that's up here but y'all probably never saw me without nails because i usually always take my nails off at the nail shop sometimes i will take them off at home um but yeah y'all probably just never saw it i do actually prefer to take them off at home because when she does it i end up getting cut and bleeding and my nails be so sore but whenever i do it myself like i can you know be good like my nails don't be sore i'm free but yeah so i'm on my way to get my nails done y'all i'm super late oh i need to change the time in my truck because it's the time changed but yeah it's currently 9 08 and my appointment is at nine o'clock so your girl is good and late but i was so tired i didn't want to wake up this morning and even get ready but then once i did get up i overslept longer than what i really wanted to and i didn't set an alarm clock so thank god i just woke up but i had to get my shower get ready i put on a little makeup whatever my skin been breaking out like crazy i've been having like postpartum like breakouts and i'm having like postpartum hair loss so i did my makeup and i did my hair and my hair was not done at all so i had to like get it together and then um i still had to get dressed so yeah i'm super late my appointment's at nine like i said and it's 909 and she just texted me and said where are you like girl because at first whenever i was at home i'm like she ain't even called on nothing so she's still doing somebody nails because y'all know well i don't know if y'all know but at my place most of the time she don't be ready for me like she still be doing other people so i'm like what up i'm about to finish getting ready i'm not gonna just run out the house half ass ready or whatever okay so yeah i just ended up throwing on this dress i really didn't have no clue what i wanted to put on well i kind of did this i had this real cute top that i wanted to put on but i was gonna put it with jeans and sneakers and that was just gonna take way longer to get ready so i had this package from yoins probably by the time this video is up or maybe not i don't know but this will be in a haul video um so i just ended up throwing this on because i just looked through the bag and i was like oh yeah i got this dress i could put this on so i just put it on because i didn't have to um iron it or put it in the dryer or nothing like that and it's just a black dress with like white writing on it but then it has like a lime green trim and i already had put on a headband wig because i knew i wanted to wear one of my new headbands but then i was like okay got the lime green trim i'm gonna pop out with the green headband and i would have put my sneakers on with this but um, especially because today is supposed to be raining and stuff but since I was already running late and I have to get my feet done I was like I'm gonna just put some sandals on because it is nice and warm today um, or else I probably would have grabbed a jean jacket and definitely put this with sneakers but yeah it's nice and warm it's 73 degrees so now I am currently rushing to the nail shop like y'all and today the plan for the nails is more neutral. Um, I was gonna get like this light pink color with like some pearl um, reflex, like the, um, what is it called? Like the pearl chrome stuff on a couple of nails with some stones. Oh, and I did not bring my other stones. I'ma just have to finesse this, but yeah. I was like, no, I was showing my man some different nails and he liked the ones like what I like, which is American. Y'all know I love like white, clean looking nails. So I'm gonna probably get American because I took my nails off because I wanted a new set anyway. And usually, you know, like if you're gonna get powder colors, you should start off with the lighter colors first and then 
work your way to the darker colors because if you get like a dark color first and you try to go back and get like American it doesn't work and American is like super super light even though I was gonna get a light pink I would rather get my American first before I get that pink so I'm gonna just get American um, and then I'll get my toes white I really be wanting my nails to look American like that jelly white color but I need to make my own polish oh child girl I just did a tight squeeze in between here but yeah I need to make my own polish um, if I want to do that so yes your girl is running super late and I really wanted to grab my other what is it phone cases for my old phone because y'all know I sold my other phone to my nail lady for her daughter I wanted to give her all of those cases because I just don't have any need for it and I can't think of anyone who has that phone that I want to give it to because I know my best friend don't have that phone the last time I gave my best friend um, my cases but I don't think she has that phone so yeah, I'll probably just end up giving them to Ben to give to her daughter. But, yeah, my little style turned out cute. Even though, like, y'all, my edges was not trying to cooperate. And I was, like, having a bunch of, um, like, dry flakes, like, in my hairline. Because I already had a style previously. And I kind of had just rinsed it. Rinsed my edges out. Girl, do not call me. I had kind of rinsed my uh, I had kind of rinsed my edges out, so it was real dry, and I had to put some oil. And then whenever you put oil, edge control do not want to stick. So then I had to use gel too, and it was just a whole mess. But yeah, we are here. I'm gonna park. Oh, I hate parking in the front. I'm gonna park in the front today since I'm late. But I'm gonna just try to get over this way a little bit. But yeah. So, I'll show y'all me getting my nails done. Because, honey, I don't know why she called me. I said I was outside, damn it. I lied. I was really still at home. But, you get y'all get my drift. She right there. All right, bye. Um, yeah, I think at the top, they just look all, they just look good. The whole thing. I don't think I want it all good. See, what color is that? Clear? I think I don't have that, but I think I need I don't that. want that color. That looks too light. Yeah, I need the marking, marking little bit. Okay. Okay then, I don't want to have to take off again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jacket, I put the super food. Mm -hmm. okay? Don't line, don't line it with the nail. Like, just put it straight. Mm -hmm. 
Right here, right here. Yeah, like that. Like that? Mm-hmm. Like that? Mm-hmm. The kids at school? Or they no, out? Oh, your yeah, spring break. break. I forgot. What's your baby doing? She uh, stay home? Uh, I'm home. Uh, uh, Y'all going anywhere? No. Nowhere? No way. The water park's open yet? I don't know. I hear some, some customers. They, check they went already? Oh, I didn't even think about it until just now. My mama haven't. a lot of people go to the beach already. Yeah. A lot of people go. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, I mean at the beach maybe you can be still kind of spaced out unless it's just too many people. Uh, we have a lot of group come here for a little bit. Yeah. To the beach? Yeah. Out of town or in Galveston? Uh, out town, Austin, uh, everywhere. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people within Miami. Yeah. A lot of young kids, mostly. Okay. Oh, baby. Hello. <clears throat> skinny, skinny. More skinny. Alright y'all, so I didn't finish vlogging at the nail shop because somebody had came and sat like right across from where I was at. So yeah, I made it home. Um, and yeah, let me just show y'all my completed nails again. Can we focus? 
So yeah, I just got them American with some stones. Honestly, I don't really, I don't know. They not ugly and I don't dislike them, but I'm not like overjoyed, excited about them. And like this pink color that I got, like it looked, I don't know if just in here right now because it's kind of dark or if I don't like this color now, but it looked a lot pinker than it is. I don't know if it's just dark in here. Maybe on camera, I think I could see it more than in person. It kind of just looks like my nails all white, kinda. But yeah, maybe that's what it, let me turn this light on. Yeah, I could kind of see it a little bit, but that light is not that bright, so whatever. I don't know, I'm not crazy about them. They just whatever, simple, basic. Y'all know me, I love my white because I like to get white on my toes. But if I get my nails like some colors, I'm not gonna get white on my toes. Like I have to have my toes matching and I like to do white on my toes. So yeah, now I'm at home. So y'all saw me do my wax and y'all saw me do my nails. That's pretty much the most for my maintenance. Like I'll go and get a Brazilian wax, but I don't go and get like lip fillers or none of that kind of stuff. So I don't know what else I could include in this kind of vlog. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I will put the links down below for you to check out the waxing products. And yeah, thank you guys for watching.